Welcome back to Drug Points, everybody. This is Ron, and tonight we are talking about... It, well, it's a demo days, and so it's uh, all the free-to-play demos I have just recently played. Starting with Balloon Strike. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, I, I bet this game isn't even a dollar itself, so why is there a demo of it? But also, what's even worse is I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Look at me missing all these freaking balloons here. Um, but this is what it is. This is the whole game. Balloon Strike. You can play it for free. Why? Uh, now, in the same kind of genre, I guess, Archer's Dream. This isn't as bad, and I really like the music. Hear that? It's real pretty. Uh, but again, this is what it is. And, uh, yeah, the aiming is, is not great, uh, the, the whole setup, but, uh, I presume this is, this is the whole game. I don't know if they're the same company or what, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're really starting with the good stuff, aren't we? Potato Sack Racing Simulator 2024 from this guy. I don't know if any of you have seen his games on sale before, but every time I see him, I go, Ugh. I mean, I appreciate what he's doing, but it's creative, but, Ugh. And, uh... This game, too, it's it's wonderfully creative, uh, and it's kind of cool what he did. It's different than his other games, but it's also totally annoying and irritating, and as much fun and interesting as it is to play for a minute, would you want to play it any longer than that? Um, but yeah, look at it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. And, uh, and interesting, but, uh, this is, this is what the game is, and, uh, I played it for about ten minutes, and just the noise, the audio itself, started to grate on me, so, <sighs> yeah. Alright, moving on to Contra Operation Galuga, and this is a new Contra game, I think it... it just came out, um, but it's a total throwback to the old school original Contra, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I highly recommend this to anybody who's actually good at Contra. The problem is, is that I suck at Contra, so this isn't quite, it, it isn't fun for me at all, uh, really, because I just, I was never good at Contra, but uh, uh, Eric, if you're watching this, I highly recommend this for you. He's just naturally good at Contra, or at least the original one. Uh, but yeah, a, a little too hard for me, unfortunately, as you can see right there. <laughs> All right, and now Alyssa. This one was was really interesting, and and uh, I started playing it, and I was like, ah, I, I don't know if it's a love or a hate. And I have to admit, all the games on this demo list... Uh, Unlike most times, all of them are actually interesting. Even if they're stupid, or inept, or irritating, um, they're all really unique and interesting in their own way. Um, this one, unfortunately, it, it's tank controls. It's, it's a throwback to PS1, as you can see by the movement there. And uh, it's just kind of boring. Um, I could be quiet here while this guy talks, but, uh, it, it just, th there's no point. You, you just, you wander around with the tank controls, then you go into this guy's house, and he just rambles at you for five minutes, and you can't leave. You just sit there listening to him talk, and, uh, I don't know, I, is it gonna become like a Silent Hill or something like that? Uh, the intro indicates, uh, here's, here's the cool... A really cool intro, by the way, for this game. So the intro indicates this, that there's some kind of weird, evil uh, machine dolls, uh, clockwork machine dolls, that you're going to have to be fighting. Uh, but that's all I know, honestly. Alyssa! Alright, moving on to Pyramid Quest. This one's real simple. I think this is the same guys who made, like, Bubble Pop and Halloween Puzzle. Um... You know, it's a little better. They're moving up in the world. Um, I don't love it, but it's cool to see some of these, you know, like that guy who did the the potato sack racing simulator. I, I love to see some of these, these guys who are making really simple, cheap games starting to progress and get into different stuff. And so this is this company's, like, first real platformer. It's, it's like their first real game. 
Uh, okay, moving on to Dredge, Chapter 1. Uh, this is from Team 17, and I was very excited to play it until I found out it's this. Guess what, guys? It's another fishing game. I should almost repost my last video because this is, uh, or my, my fishing video, sorry, it's probably not my last by the point I'm, you know, this video comes out, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's another fishing game, and, uh, it's kind of cool, it's, it's definitely more RPG, but you float around on your boat, and, uh, you collect fish, uh, and then you go back to the harbor, and you repair your boat, and, and you do stuff like that, um, it is a little easy to get lost, but, um, there are controls where you can, like, move the camera up and kind of look, and you're, you're supposed to look for the lighthouse, but I got really lost, um, for, like, 20 minutes in that game. All right, now, stories from Soul the Gundog? Uh, I, I love this era of, of anime, um, but this game as cool as this looks, and, and I love the music, and I love the look as well, but as cool as it looks, it's just a, a choose-your-own-adventure, and that's all it is. So you, you just walk around, and you interact with things, and you read a lot of text, and that's basically all you do. Now, I guess, you know, I, I don't hate it, but I wish there was audio, and I also wish it, it just it wasn't all green. There should be a little color. I don't know. That's a weird choice that you made. All right. The mind-twisting quadroids. Uh, so, clearly it's a quadrant. There's there's four areas, and I don't know um, as the... if as Because this... I only finished the demo, but... I don't know if as the game goes on, each quadrant has a different character in it, but I got to the point where there's two different characters, um, but they're not timed, so basically what I did is I just ran one character through the top two quadrants, and then after I got him through, or sorry, it was the bottom one that time, but, uh, uh, and then after I got him through, I focused on uh, the second one, and it's... Uh, it's, I guess it's a puzzle game. It is a platformer too, but it's it's kind of a puzzle game, and I imagine it's going to get more and more intense until it gets impossible, which is why cool but not interested. All right, Sandland. Speaking of cool but not interested and a very new game itself, uh, just like Contra, uh, look at it. It's it's cool looking, um, but I don't know. My, my biggest complaint is it's called Sandland. So, my first impression is, I think this is all it is. is It's kind of running through the sand, and uh, it has some Monster Hunter vibes to it. I was fighting a, a giant scorpion at some point, and it felt very uh, Monster Hunter-y to me. But uh, so far, and I'm not knocking the game, I'm not saying buy it or don't buy it, I'm just saying so far... Well, for the hour I played the demo, or however long it was, it was just this sand area, and I was just wandering around killing people. And it didn't seem like there was a goal or anything. So, there you go. Fate! Samurai Remnant. Uh, I think this is the last game of the night. Uh, this is really cool. Now, I, I don't think, and I believe this might be a newer game as well. Obviously, they're demos, so... Yeah, but uh, really cool fighting here. I didn't like the boss fight. It almost felt uh, Souls-like to me, but uh, I, I was able to get through it. Uh, but, uh, man, it reminds me of Ninja Scroll, kind of. However, you, you, you walk through everybody. What is this about, game? Why, why do you do that? Uh, but other than that, just, just the base fighting... Not the boss fights, but the base fighting is really fun and satisfying and totally reminds me of Ninja Scroll. And, uh, yeah, if this ever goes on sale for, like, five bucks, I think I would probably pick it up. Anyway, there you go. That's all the free-to-play demos that I checked out. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night and goodbye.